Opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers. Stay up to date with all things cricket. Subscribe to Crick Buzz's YouTube channel and press that bell icon now. In the batting, Zaheer, um, they will be chasing today. So while it's out of their hands, while Shakib has won the toss, uh, or rather Mahmud Allah has won the toss and decided that Bangladesh will bat first, uh, any areas in their batting, how do you how do you assess a performance when you had to chase 55 the last time around and that too struggled a little bit? Well, I think uh, they look to finish uh, the game as uh, early as possible. You know, so so that has been their approach. Uh, you you finish the game in eight overs. You know, so so fifty five run chase. I mean, uh, even if you better that, you would just uh, maybe you know score fifty runs. I mean, a good power play is is fifty runs. Like you know, you say forty five or fifty runs. That means you played aggressively to to get to that run chase. So I think you know they've uh, they've done uh, they've done fine. Even if they lost wicket, they had the approach of finishing the game uh, early. Is, is something you know which I liked, and and that is something which uh, you will see from this team. Uh, their worries is uh, is 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 only one the morgan uh, factor you know his captaincy has been very good but uh, but he's not been amongst the runs you know so that has been the only concern for uh, england team leading into uh, the world cup and now as as the world cup is going on they will be just looking at uh, at morgan's form and uh, and apart from that everyone pretty much uh, have been uh, have been good with defined roles, you know, mind you, they don't have uh, Jofra and Ben Stokes, you know. So in spite of that, they've been able to uh, go in the tournament as as one of the favourites. Yeah, fair point there. Uh, we saw those numbers, Joy. It's it's that eternal question which we've talked about earlier, but I think in the context of today's game, for someone like Owen Morgan, he may not be called into it if they're chasing 120 for some reason and the others do the job. Again, he may not be tested. But you want him to be tested, a bit like we talked about uh, Pakistan yesterday. Ten wicket victory against India, but they will enjoy the fact that they came through with the two points with, say, Asif Ali getting runs. Yeah, no, exactly. Harsha told them that you know you can't win easily. You've to, got to win it difficult so that all your players get a chance because that's the ideal thing. So literally, Pakistan has been ticking all the boxes, right? And I, but I, you know, I want to go back to what uh, Zach is saying, which which is also about the England approach of getting it in eight overs. This now is a huge approach because uh, basically the technology and people in the coaching staff nowadays they say that for a bat batting team, you actually your resources are not used if you're not going hard. So you're better off using resources to go hard and try and get a better run rate rather than preserving wicket. What's the point of preserving wickets? So they they know that they're not going to lose the match. You know, if they'd lost a couple more wickets, they would have probably slowed down a bit. But till then, till four, they will keep backing. And I think it's a very, it's counterintuitive because you're saying, why do I need to lose wickets or whatever? They're not. They're just making sure that they're never going to be behind on run rate. Because they know that the number of unused wickets, there's no point having unused wickets in the hut. You might as well use them and wickets don't count against 100. So, I think England plays what you call 21st century T20 cricket. They're very clear about why they're doing it and how they're doing it. And that's why you say, why do you think batsmen keep hitting? Because they know that, okay, if I'm not going to get it, the next guy's going to get it. If he's not going to get it, the next guy's going to get it. Till there's a point where a batsman will turn around and say, okay, now it's time to stabilize because we've lost three quick wickets. Now I'm going to hold on to one end and let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, and it's an, approach, yeah. it's an approach they used in 50 over cricket, Zahir, as well. Owen Morgan's been very unequivocal. 2015, after that debacle, they tried out the formula in a series against New Zealand. It worked. And they said, Owen Morgan said, we're going to apply it to both white ball formats. And, and they've been consistent with it. They have been and 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 they've been picking the team uh, accordingly. So so they they first designed that how they want to play, what brand of cricket they want to play, how they want to play it, and then and then they went uh, looking for the names which will play that role, uh, if need be, develop some players. So you you've seen that uh, this this English team has given long rope to certain individuals just because they knew that that category of players are not not available. So you know you have to make do with the, with the players you have, and then they they developed them into. Uh, what role they wanted, what role the team wanted uh, the players to play. So I think you know that that that, that they've been very clear about, and uh, the results of that has been uh, uh, showing in the last uh, few years. You know, you you've seen that uh, England team is is one of the best teams playing this uh, white ball format. You know, be it ODIs or T20s, and and that's the reason you know they are uh, in this tournament. Uh, and every team looks at them in 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 that light. 
you know it's it's it's, it's always uh, like you know uh, you've seen in in india as well when uh, they were playing they go on a on a rampage they scored some 300 plus total in 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 40 overs or or 38 overs you know so so they they've made it very clear and now they they got the batters also who can play spin well you know when uh, when you look at someone like like bestro butler you know they're not afraid of uh, playing spin bowling in fact they they got a quality leg spinner also you know who who they play against in in nets for them to prepare better in terms of uh, the onslaught which we've seen against the spinners as well